Hey, Violent Community, how you doing? I hope you had a good weekend. It's uh, early Sunday evening, and I've had a very, very long day. Today was our, uh, it's our record fair day. We have it twice a year. We have it in the fall, we have it in the spring, and this, obviously this is our spring record fair. And I've been up since 6 a.m. Uh, as I was a vendor, and obviously a buyer. Good news is, is that I sold more than I took home, so that's a win. Um, and I had a really good day. It was a really odd record fair, in, in my opinion, uh, for my city anyways. Um, so like I said, uh, who did I catch up with? Uh, I saw Dots and Loops Vinyl. Uh, he was there. He had a table. He had great stuff, as always. And uh, there's a few other uh, Vinyl community members that are there. But uh, uh, primarily some of you uh, might subscribe to uh, Dan's channel at Dots and Loops uh, Vinyl. He was there. So... Uh, um, I talked to him a bit, that was a lot of fun, and uh, I said I caught up with a lot of uh, vinyl community members. I I think it's, uh, I haven't done it for about a year because uh, I was in the hospital for a while, so I had to skip out on the last one, which was the first one I've missed in 10 years. So, uh, long day, and I still got to go to work in an hour and a half. So I've been up at 6, did this record fair, lugged about 10,000 pounds of vinyl to uh, the hall where we had our record fair in my city. And... Uh, I'm not moaning. I don't want to seem like a moaner, but I'm tired. And uh, I have to work until 6 a.m. Sunday morning. So uh, it's going to be a long one tonight. I'm going to get right to uh, my fines um, uh, that I got today. So um, it was it was an odd record fair, in my opinion. Some might disagree with me that we're there, but um, as a vendor, um, as someone who kind of sells a little bit of everything, uh, maybe it's, it's a, a sign of the economy where uh, there was a lot of $5 stuff, uh, stuff that's $5 in my, in my area. That stuff was flying, but the expensive stuff um, just sat and it was kind of the consensus with uh, a lot of vendors that I that I was talking to that uh, maybe it's just, it's, like I said, it's a product of the envir uh, the, uh, the times we're in right now, uh, the economy. Um, People were buying a lot of $5 stuff. They weren't really touching the $30 to $40 stuff or higher. Um, fair enough. Um, but, you know, a lot of people left happy. And um, I have lots of $5 stuff. So I was able, like I said, I was able to make a lot of uh, young people's days. Uh, days. A lot of young people's day. It's been a long day. Anyways, that was uh, the odd thing about our record fair here today is, uh, like I said, a lot of... Um, Stuff that would have went within the first half hour. A lot of people were sitting on some really good stuff. So, um, I got, as long as some people left happy. I'm going to get right to my finds here. I have, um, I've kind of broken it up just by, uh, well, actually, I don't even know if there, if there is a, a linear theme here. But, um, this was kind of exciting. Uh, th this here is, um, once again, this, these are finds from our Edmonton Music Collector Show from today. XTC. This is a Warner uh, promo album for Skylarking. And what it was, it's a radio promo. And it has Andy Partridge from XTC talking about the songs from Skylarking in between the cuts. So, um, I think this is available for streaming on YouTube. But it's, uh, you know, uh, Andy Partridge talking about the song. And then they play the song from... And it has... Uh, it has the Q sheet in here. Um, I don't know if anyone cares to see such things, but let me just a promo sheet for it. And uh, I've been on a bit of a Skylarking kick, a little bit, uh, a little bit of an XTC kick. So uh, that was, to me, that was a really exciting find today. Uh, was this Warner Brothers um, Geffen Records promo of uh, Skylarking? Like I said, with uh, Andy Partridge, kind of. Uh, tipping in his two cents about the album that he proclaims to hate at the time. Until Dear God came out and then he loved it, I guess. Um, two more exciting finds I got from the same seller as the XTC. Where do I start? Where do I start? Um, let's start with this one. And I'm going to point so I can use this as the uh, screen cap. There you go, eh? Uh, an original pressing of Richard Hell and the Voidoids, Blank Generation. This is an original Canadian pressing on Sire, uh, distributed by GRT Records. 
Uh, some of the early Ramones albums were on Sire, distributed by GRT. But this is an original radio station promo. There's a, there's a light little stamp that could probably take off pretty easily. So, uh, like I said, an original pressing of Richard Help, Lang Generation. And I'll try to be quick today. But that was an exciting find. The last find I had from that same seller was an original UK Sire Records, pro, uh, not, it's not a promo, but it's an original Sire Records pressing from the UK of the Dead Boys, Young, Loud, and Snotty. Look at the, uh, the odd Sire Records logo there, if you can see it uh, there. I'm trying to peek over. But that's an original UK pressing. Uh, and both, in, like, I, both of these are in really good shape, so I was absolutely thrilled to find those two. Um, so that was from one seller, the XTC promo, the Dead Boys, and the Richard Hell. All three were massive gaps in my collection. Oh, the XTC, is, it's not a necessary thing. It's just, if you're a fan of Skylarking, it's kind of neat to maybe hear Andy Parks we could talk about the songs in between. But the Dead Boys and Richard Hell were um, pretty obvious gaps in my uh, in my collection to me. Um, there's going to be some progressive rock coming up throughout this video. Um, the progressive rock area of my collection is, um, it's, it's it's one of the only areas that need, a, that need some padding. Uh... By no means is this one padding. Uh, this is a lot of people's kind of holy grail. Um, this is an original pressing of Hatfield and the North first album. And it's in the glossy sleeve. And it's on um, the kind of pink virgin, the two girls. It's, uh, it's a much, much sought after album. And uh, someone had that there for sale today. In fact, um, I'll, I'll keep on name dropping Dots and Loops Vinyl. Please visit his, his channel. Um, when I found this, uh, I think he had strayed from his table, and I think he was beside me when I, when I found this. And being the moralistic guy that he is, he didn't want to butt in and uh, tell me that he had a copy at his table taking away the sale from the guy I was talking to. But he had a copy of this. It was a um, Canadian or U.S. promo copy he had for uh, a lot less money and I was kicking myself afterwards but I understand why he did it he it's not it's not um, it's not good form to uh, take away someone else's business but um, I'm really happy with this one this one's super clean and uh, but the one he had was a uh, like I said it was a, a promo stamp copy a really nice one too um, yeah you win some lose some but um, thank you Dan for being very moral about that and uh, I would have easily bought yours had I not found this one. So um, these are all okay. When we really quick story, uh, let's make sure I get these all in order. There was a table um, actually right behind Dan from Dots and Loops Vinyl, right uh, right behind you, Dan. When we first got there, um, there's what's called early birds. It's when vendors kind of uh, set up and we go around and we buy and sell amongst each other. And there's a table there with uh, what, four boxes, um, nothing was priced. And it was me who went to this table and the guy who runs the Edmonton record fair named George and the guy who runs the Calgary record fair named Mark. We're all through there and we're looking through the stuff and it's not priced, which isn't a good sign because usually that means someone, generally speaking, maybe doesn't know what they're doing and they're just bringing stuff and you ask them what this record is and it's, it's crazy priced. Um, but, we were looking through the stuff and there's some really good stuff and finally one of us asked how much well, how much are these and he said three dollars a piece and then we were grabbing stuff unfortunately those two guys uh beat me to a lot of good stuff i got some good stuff though for three bucks a piece and it, they're all in super good condition why they were three bucks a piece i have no clue but they were and i'm not sure if anyone uh, caught on to that <laughs> afterwards um they must have because his boxes look pretty empty at the end but that was right that was kind of just before the doors opened and like i said we were we made out like bandits so this is an album i found a couple of videos ago but i found another copy um for three dollars i'm not going to pass it up i'll find another home for it um beck bogart and apathy an original uh cbs pressing so that was three dollars um yellow magic orchestra multiples uh 
I'm not sure if you know the Yellow Magic Orchestra or, y or YMO. They're a Japanese band from the late 70s, early 80s. Um, kind of experimental, electronic uh, pop band, I guess. But that was there. You don't see Yellow Magic Orchestra too many times in my city. But that's an uh, original Canadian uh, pressing of uh, Multiples, which is um, kind of a, a collection. I hate to call it a greatest hits for a band who doesn't have any greatest hits. Uh, Camel, Moon, Moon Madness. That's uh, an original Canadian uh, pressing. That was $3. That's uh, Gatefold. That was a nice one. Uh, I don't have any Leonard Skinner. I have a Greatest Hits album, the Golden Platinum, I think it's called. I don't really own any Leonard Skinner. Is it necessary? Mm, who knows? It was $3. I got a beautiful copy of Second Helping. So, um, yeah. Yeah. For, all for three dollars uh caravan blind dog at say dunstan's some canterbury progressive rock there for three dollars this is an original uh uk pressing actually japan there's a long-haired david sylvian here but obscure alternatives that was three dollars and I think finally kicking, uh, ending off the, uh, kicking off. Here's one take Dave kind of blowing some lines here. But, um, this ends the $3 fines from this one table was a copy of Lou Reed Berlin, which I didn't have, obviously. Um, beautiful condition copy. So, um, if you're cheap like I am and, uh, that, you know, how can you beat that price? Sorry, I need to I need to down some coffee if I want to make it till 6 a.m. today. Um, some more progressive rock. So if you're not into such things, you might want to skip. Up to you. Uh, Crack the Sky. Um, they're definitely in the... This is like uh, 1975. Very awesome, awesome, harder progressive rock. Um, it's kind of like... Uh, Kind of like, you know, your arena hard rock mixed with progressive rock. Really good album. I suggest you check this album out if um, if you're into such things. Crack the Sky. And uh, I have to go back because I put these out of order. This was also $3 too. An original 1969 uh, French pressing of Aphrodite's Child. It's 5 o'clock. Uh, you, you might know Aphrodite's Child from their album 666, which I think is their biggest album. Um... But a beautiful silver foiled gatefold um, for three dollars. Look at this. Just a flap in absolutely stunning condition. So uh, I don't know who this gentleman was, him and his friend that were selling records, but God bless you. Um, they were telling me they wanted to blow some stuff out they didn't play to, to be able to afford some more expensive stuff. And wow, they sure made a lot of people's day, that's for sure. Uh, three Marillion albums. I don't really have any Marillion albums. Um, I've had some come through my hands and I kind of pass them along. Um, but I found three original UK pressings and these were $4 each. Uh, I got a copy of Fugazi. And uh, thankfully, uh, there was a, a friend of mine, Andy, who was uh, at the same table. I was looking at uh, records at this table that were $4. And I, he was the Marillion fan. And I had to kind of show him and he kind of gave me the nod or... Eh. So I think, uh, to, according to him, uh, I, I know the hits off these albums, hits, or they're better known songs, but the full al albums, I, I'll be honest, I don't really know a whole lot about Marillion. But uh, he, he told me to pick up these three. So $4 each, a copy of Fugazi. That's an original UK pressing. Copy of Clutching at Straws. Marillion. And of course, what would any collection be without a copy of Misplaced Childhood? That's a, an original UK pressing as well. So those were all four dollars each. Um, I only got two more to show you, and one's a freebie. Someone just threw in because uh, the fair was closing, and he was on the phone talking, and he didn't have time to take my two bucks. But that's the last one I'll show you. This is a, a, a metal album I've been looking for for a long, 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 long time. Um, you just don't see this, and uh, even though they're a Canadian band, you don't see the vinyl very often. It is Killer Dwarfs, Dirty Weapons? I saw them play this tour at a little bar called the Metro in my city. Um, and I was very young and alcohol affected me very easily. And I 
vaguely, vaguely remember the show. But I love this album. Um, great Canadian uh, heavy metal band. So that was a nice find. I've, I've been looking for this one for at least 15 years, at least, on vinyl. And today, there it was. And this is the freebie someone threw in for me uh, because he was talking on the phone. Didn't want to bother taking my money. Uh, a band called The Monks, Suspended Animation. I already have this, but uh, I think he only wanted a couple bucks to start with. Um, the Monks, uh, some of you might know their song, Drugs in My Pocket, from their album, um, Bad Habits. Although they're a UK band, they did way better in Canada than they did anywhere else in the world. And their albums are still, their CDs are still readily available here in stores. And uh, for stores who still carry CDs. Um, that song still gets play on the radio. And this is the second album. Uh, I think it only came out in a few countries, Canada being one of them. And it went, uh, it went gold here in Canada, oddly enough. Uh, I'm a big fan of The Monks. But this is a definite upgrade to the one I have, my well-played original copy. So, uh, guy threw it in for free. There you go. Um, he was next to me anyway, so maybe he, it was just uh, a thanks for him talking my ear off all day. Who knows? Uh, one more drink of coffee. And I hope I succeeded in keeping this, uh, what's the time? Keeping this as brief as possible today. Once again, if you, uh, I, I've, men I've mentioned him before in other videos. I've mentioned him twice before. I'll mention him again. Uh, please visit, uh, visit Dots and Loops Vinyl. He was very complimentary about my YouTube videos, and I always name check him, so he knows I'm a, a fan. I called him today the most entertaining vinyl guy on YouTube, which he is. Um, his his the, the the vinyl he shows is uh, it's very uh, not always psych. That's I hate to paint him in a corner because lately he's been showing some stuff he's been playing that's not psych. But that guy is the psych man in the city. I tell you that uh, if you ever want to know anything in my city about psych, that's the guy to go to. But uh, watching his latest videos, he's a lot more eclectic than I thought. So that was nice to see Dan today. And so please visit Dots and Loops Vinyl. There you go. Anyways, I'm going to end this video here. I got my pajama bottoms on that you can't see. Because I'm tired. And God damn it, I'm wearing pajama pants until I can go to work today. So there you go. My Ghostbusters pajama pants. Anyways. I'm going to end this here. This has been David Mike of the Vinyl Community, and this has been a recap of my finds today from the Edmonton Music Collector Show in my city. Next week, I'm heading down the road to Calgary. So, Liam Dyer, I'll be seeing you. That'll be nice to hang out with Liam. Uh, since we've got to be a little bit friendly on YouTube, I'll get to hang out with Liam. And I'll have more finds to show from the Calgary Music Collector Show. And then, uh, I think a week or two after that, I'm off to Europe, record shopping and seeing, a, seeing some live shows over there and seeing my daughter. So, this is going to be the end of a, a busy day today with vinyl, and now I'm going to put the uniform on and go to work. So, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. David Michael here. See you there.